not merely seeing reality, it is touching the truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my final thoughts and redirect for episodes 16, 17, and 18 of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check that video out, then come back here to YouTube, watch this video, and then let me know what you think in the comments section. Alright, um... If you are interested in seeing next week's reaction video, I normally post it within 24 hours of this video being live on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see next week's, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Um, I also have a Discord if you're into getting regular updates. You can check that out as well. The link is in the description. Okay, so um, we left off right where... We started right where we left off last time, where Gilgamesh was um, just finished killing Elias Veal and Berserker. And then he rips out Elias Veal's heart, which had like all sorts of like gems and shit in it, which makes me think that maybe they're going to use it somehow to, uh, I don't know what they're going to do, but it, I, it seemed kind of weird that after they killed her, they ripped out her heart. Maybe... If they recover her heart, they can pass down her magecraft to somebody else and they're trying to prevent that or maybe they're trying to get it for themselves or maybe it's just a trophy for defeating her. I don't know, but uh, they took her heart out and then uh, they left. And um, my favorite part of that whole episode was when Reen basically tells Shiro that you can't just keep trying to help people unless it's what you want just because you think is right you have to do things for yourself not just for other people if you live your whole life for other people you won't truly be happy and um that's like 100 percent true like we know that shiro is the kind of person where he wants to be the hero and save save people but it's got to be for himself that he does these things not for other people because if you just do it for the sake of helping other people and you sacrifice your own happiness, then your your life is pointless because you're not living for yourself. So um, Reen was 100% right on that and she tried to make him understand it, but I'm not 100% sure that he did understand it. But um, they did, decided to go try to fight Caster on their own and Lancer shows up and tells him basically, yeah, I will form a pact with you if, uh, if you'd like. And basically he was ordered there by his master, who I'm still saying is Kirai Kotamine. It hasn't officially been confirmed, but the, all the signs point to it being him. Um, obviously he's got some sort of, uh, you know, ulterior motive, but we don't know what that is yet. But uh, anyways, they eventually accept his help after, you know, the conversation they have. And they go to fight Caster. And when they arrive there, um, Lancer begins to fight Archer. And they go in to confront Caster. And basically, we find out that Archer was... It, it was his plan all along to deceive Caster into making her drop her guard so that he could, uh, she would be less focused on what's going on and easier to be taken down, um, which is part of what I predicted. But the unexpected part was the fact that Cast or Archer is still in it for himself, and his goals are to kill Shiro because of his inexperience and the fact that he had to basically be his guardian for a while. And it really rubbed him the wrong way. And um, so he goes inside. And after um, Reen does a really good job of busting up Caster's face and punching her out, uh, he comes in to finish the job and basically kills her and Caster's master um, by stabbing him and having the freaking whole church fall on top of him, which was awesome. Um Fighting, as always, is fucking awesome in this show. The animation is so fluid. The use of CGI is subtle enough where it's not overwhelming, but good enough that it really gives this show the amazingness that, that it has. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so basically, um, Reen forms a pact with Saber because they still have no master. And in doing so, gives Saber the mana that she needs to fight at full strength that she didn't have with Shiro. Um, but Shiro is becoming a badass himself. Like, I don't know what he's going to be doing later on in this series, but he seems to be coming very strong. Like, uh, Archer used his Noble Phantasm, which surprised me. It was called Unlimited Blade Works, which is pretty much the name of this this show this series here and um it like sucked them inside of this reality marvel and shit and basically like he was going to use all of these blades that i guess he can like replicate blades or something that he's seen and and i i'm not entirely sure exactly what all of the details of his noble phantasm yet but i'm guessing that we'll find out more seeing as how the series is named after his noble phantasm but uh basically he was shooting all these blades at Shiro, and Shiro used his projection and his strengthening to basically summon a sword strong enough to start hacking them out of the sky, and it was really awesome. It was actually, like, the most badass thing that he's done, and he's done a few badass things so far. Um, so it, he'll be a force to be reckoned with, I think, at one point. I, at some point, I should say. He'll be pretty tough to uh, beat, even without having a um, heroic spirit under him but um archer says that he can last like a couple days or so without having a master giving him mana which is definitely interesting i didn't realize the archer class has that ability but uh he kidnaps reen anyway and basically tells shiro he's got like 24 hours to show up and try to fight him or else he's gonna kill reen totally wasn't what i was expecting i thought like that he was going to come back to Reen after Caster was defeated, but I guess he's got some other shit going on with him that we don't know the full story of yet that's given him this weird, um, this weird sense of, like, I don't know what you would call it. I'm, I'm trying to find the right word, but it's escaping me right now. But he seems to think that he can do well on his own and, and get his achieve his goals without having a master or maybe he'll find another master i have no idea but uh yeah so basically he's got reen and that's where we left off and we're nearing the end of this and i'm betting it's gonna be even crazier than the shit we've seen so far um yeah i i honestly can't wait to find out what happens uh i would have liked to keep watching as i always do but um Unfortunately, I had to rush off to school and get ready for school and stuff. As you can see, I'm just getting back from school now. I'm still in my my scrub. So, uh, yeah, um, these were great episodes. Really unexpected shit happened. Great animation as always. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.